there are three major hurdles to regenerative agriculture being just agriculture. One is farmers have been de-skilled in the last 75 to 80 years through the advent of chemical farming, where chemical um, based farming and petroleum based farming has replaced biology based farming. Um, secondly, government incentives are completely misaligned with, uh, with encouraging growers to do things that will protect uh, soil health. And thirdly, and in my opinion, most importantly, the consumer has no idea that their greatest point of agency in the climate crisis is their food choices. We need to be building resiliency into our food system to drive our long-term capabilities to thrive as a company. Today there is no international scheme or standard or certification really? to ensure that uh, we source uh, regenerative uh, uh, ingredients. So what we do is always to start by uh, traceability and transparency on practices. So we map all our supply chains and we assess all the risks social and environmental risks within our supply chains. And then it's a, it's a tailor-made approach. So we design uh, local uh, schemes with farmers to ensure that uh, we, we reach the same goal uh, regarding regenerative agriculture. And then we translate this uh, scheme into contracts, uh, long-term contracts uh, with uh, key elements. We agree on key elements and we try to project and to forecast volumes uh, to increase our volumes under regenerative agriculture. I would tackle competition policy. So competition law has too, for too long been risk averse and it stops people talking about price. We need to talk about the cost of sustainable production. We need to talk about long-term low prices in food. That means farmers don't get enough to be able to look after their farms, care for their families and mitigate against the climate crisis. But also it means that companies can't share their, their best practice and how they can collaborate together. So we need a, a, a competition policy framework put into competition law in the UK, which allows for free competitive collaboration, talking about price, so the cost of sustainable production can be baked in to supply chains. We're living well beyond our planetary boundaries, and we're paying the price for that. 70% of species have disappeared over the last five decades, birds, amphibians, reptiles. When is it our turn? In our lifetime, we've cut down 50% of the world's forests. It just doesn't work anymore. So we need to start thinking restorative, reparative, regenerative, and that's really the essence of net positive. Thank you.